Okay, would you please introduce yourself? Tell I'm your uh, <coughs> Dr. Som Prakash, professor at the Alvag Educational Institute in Agra, India. And I am teaching zoology, basically, life scientist. But I am also engaged with the Center for Consciousness Studies, uh, which is in my institute at Dalva and doing research on consciousness and guiding research in consciousness from a different point of view, from a point of view of a higher order consciousness, that means a spiritual consciousness, which is a far more greater, powerful and subtle than the consciousness which the natural science and material science and physical science is looking for. Okay, thank you. Nice to meet you. Yes. Um, oh, I heard a lot of body and mind that are doing this conference. So, do you think body and consciousness is as tight as a one or they are separated? You know, the whole universe or the human body is, is framed as in three constituents. Body, mind and spirit. So, looking from the only body and mind, uh, the most of the people have lost their ways. Unless you realize that there is a third entity, which is above Planck's constant, 10 to the power minus 33. If you don't go into that area and endeavor and explore it, the physical science is of course only body and mind. Yes. But if you want to know the secrets of the physical science, it is in the higher level. And that is what we call as, uh, in our uh, Eastern philosophy, we call it that the body is a, <coughs> made of the material thing, and mind is the is a unit of uh, the Brahmanda. Brahmanda means the, the mind of the universal consciousness. Uh, our mind is also a, uh, is a unit of it. But in case of a spiritual consciousness, it's a very different. Because when the body is purified, your mental consciousness is uh, aroused. When your mental consciousness is satisfied or you, you distract from the different kinds of you know, attachments, entanglements of this world, like uh, you know, attachment to your money, property, uh, attachment to your family, life, or different kinds of mental attitudes, if you rectify, purify them, then you are entitled to travel into the uh, higher consciousness, the spiritual consciousness. And this is what uh, actually we I have presented also here in my paper that there is that consciousness is present in, in the matter also. But we cannot look into that because it is at a higher level, 10 to the power minus 10. So the Planck's constant, the 20 constant which makes the life possible in this planet Earth, if you change a little bit of that, any of the value, the whole universe will be destroyed. So that, that control has to be going with it only when you know the spiritual concept. Okay. Are you afraid of dying? Pardon? Are you afraid of death? No, no, not at all. Death is, a, death is a natural process. It is shedding off your own cloth and taking off a new one unless you have completely traveled to the highest order. This is the purpose of universe. This is the purpose of life. I asked the questions which was actually, they were not ready to answer. That, what is the purpose of life? Why this universe was created? It is because of this consciousness that you get attached to the higher spiritual order. So consciousness has been created for this purpose so that we all assemble together and like to live into that the purpose of life. That means you develop your internal consciousness to of that order where you get a perfect consciousness with no no pain but only pleasure. Like water is the no, no, ocean is the reservoir of water. Like a, a sun is the reservoir of energy. So the pure consciousness, which they are not accepting as the word God whatever you say, is the also a reservoir of the consciousness, all consciousness, all kind of consciousness which they are talking here. But they are not able to make contact between the first order, second order and third order. So only talking about body and mind, body and mind. 
and this view they will have to change human body is an instrument human body is an instrument for spiritual experiments and not only for mental experiment and you know scientific experiment they too are good they will explore the nature but your focus should be at the highest level um what will be your ideal death death is a, is the intermittent process in which most of your if you have are having uh, cultivated some desire in life next life will be you know a better one if you have a desire of a lower order like sex like money then you will be involved and you will be given birth to this place again and again you are entangled in the network of the world you cannot go above that is called maya means an illusion so world is called as an illusion because you are we are we think that is a true you are more money you have pleasures of the life than this is the object of life and the moment you realize that uh, you are this these, these uh, are not the actual uh, purpose of life then uh, you know from uh, higher order uh, consciousness will touch you they will give you some reference that where he is he means he means capital h and how you can get into his touch and his panorama and then how you can get his view or total perfect uh, happiness this that's true that's true so i can tell you you believe in afterlife oh yes afterlife is there there are many evidences in eastern philosophy or even in here after death many people have reborn and their memories has not been washed off so they again say that i was you uh, know uh, there something and i was in this form in my previous birth and before previous birth it, it happens in many cases newspapers or in many media you can find people talking about their previous birth and uh, and this is a flow this is a flow of uh, consciousness so in, it, if it is not uh, cut aside the sender then it 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 gives you the knowledge of your previous life also in india i think this is a, a anybody any common man can give you 10 examples of this that the, he was a farmer now he is born in this family when he was a little younger and at the age of 5 or 10 he says please go to that village and in that village when they go they open this almira when you open that almira i say open this book i have you know, plenty of notes and you know my coins are there and then everybody is surprised how a young boy is talking about a distance of 100 miles and coming and then recognizing the that it is the connectivity of the previous life so yes it is truth so you are, you are the, you are the teacher of the university so i like to ask you uh, something different um so what do you think about quantum physics do can you use their Quantum physics is a completely physical phenomena just like they have started between if you have read Feynman and uh, who actually introduced uh, or the even Einstein himself who talked about that light is not only a particle but it is a wave also and there is a Feynman's experiment of single slit or double slit then he is proving that it is interfering if the two slits are there they are interfering and the total energy content of the shadow produced is uh, where the light should not have been it should have been dark there is a presence of light so we believe in quantum physics yes all modern scientists should believe because uh, many thing which are not explainable by classical physics and uh, should be taken as a, uh, as a ride or other they should understand that that phenomena you see recently photosynthesis has been you know discovered as a quantum biology phenomenon so uh, in nature has not been born today no it, from thousands and thousands of years earth was created and the plants were there and the rays were coming but nobody discovered that the photosynthesis have not only one paradigm but they have four or five paradigms in in different cases they they follow the another paradigm so it is not one way it is a two way like in human body spirituality if you meditate it is said that uh, there is a your spirit So if the spirit has gone into higher region, then, then we should have uh, experience of death. But nobody dies. So that the spirit energy form is in the body, but in wave form it goes into the higher regions, and you experience different kinds of you know galactic uh, experiences, and then you record it and you come back. But uh, in consciousness, problem is the first person experience they are not accepting. 
if some saint says that I have seen, you know, mansion in the higher order, there are higher spirituality and happiness of ocean, these people will not understand because they say, where is the proof? Who, who, who will validate this? So where is the second person? Then the second person, no, no, we don't believe in it. We believe in instrument. So instrument will measure that. And since the physical instrument do not have capacity to go beyond 10 to the power minus 15, 13, 11, how can they measure the energy form which are at 10 to the power minus 33? It's not possible. At this moment, maybe in future, the what they are trying to um, you know explore it might be they will find one day the inability that uh, we can't go beyond this there's something beyond this then may, they may realize it and they will summit and they will come to the prophets and saints again who has enlightened soul and what is the theory of we are consciousness but we are not discussing the theory of enlightenment so what is the difference between enlightenment and consciousness Consciousness means you are aware of. That's fine. You may be aware of many things. But you are aware of everything is enlightenment, which they are not talking at the moment. The time will come, the day will come. We are coming here to, from uh, the our Eastern philosophy taking here, we are trying to get them uh, infused or integrate. That please in integrate these theories also. They are very uh, relevant. And uh, the humanity which is moving Humanity also has a purpose, that redemption. This is not our original abode. We have we have descended here for a particular purpose. If the purpose will be fulfilled, this creation will be destroyed automatically. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. If you can define death in a one word or a phrase, what would that be? I told you before also it is changing of clothes. Okay. The physical frame is right. just changing your clothes. And in mental world it is your desires and your more clarification, more purification happens. You are purified for a better life. That is death. So we should not be afraid of death. Well, thank you so much okay. for your time. Fine, we will fine, thank you.